Now the purpose of this exercise is to get used to manipulating objects in edit mode, manipulating vertices, faces, edges. With the start cube, use the tool on the left, which is the scale tool, and then try stretching it in different directions using colored dots. Also use the adjust last operation pane down at the bottom left and change the properties, scale properties in the object properties on the right. Finally, switch to edit mode using the drop down at the top left and try selecting the vertices by clicking on them. Hold shift to select multiple and use control to deselect from selected ones. Try switching the X-ray mode on right at the top right of the window. Select vertices that are hidden behind faces otherwise. Switch the selection mode from vertex to edge and try clicking on edges. Shift clicking to select multiple and control clicking to deselect. And finally, switch to face mode selection and select the top face on its own. And right click on the top face once it's selected and from the context menu, select subdivide. And then in the adjust last operation pane, change the number of cuts to 10. So you have basically 11 squares along each side. Now we want to change this stretched flattened cube into a rounded top cushion with a slot in the middle for putting our wedding ring in. So we'll try changing um, X and Y symmetries, setting them on at the top. And now when we move one of the corners, we see that all four corners move symmetrically. Um, And we could work our way around um, tweaking each vertex down, which we can do in the orthographic view from the side, looking along the x-axis. We can move them downwards by pressing Z to restrict the movement in the, along the Z axis. But we have to do this for a lot of points to move a small amount. So for this exercise, we will use the proportional editing tool which is at the top of the screen in the middle and when you click it it will be highlighted rather than greyed out. Now when we do um, G to move the point and Z to restrict it in the vertical direction we see we have a circle which we can control the size of using the mouse wheel and this is the influence um, with the smooth which is the default proportional editing switched on it will move the um, vertices closest to the selected vertex most and decay. And we can move them all down to some extent and then reduce the size of the proportional editing to tweak the shape of the curve. As a final part of this exercise, we're going to select the central five faces across the middle and then we're going to use the extrude method and rather than using the tool because this is such a common way of manipulating shapes we'll use the E key press the E on the keyboard and that will move extrude and move either outwards or inwards so we've moved them down create a slot